Today we're going to be taking a look at the best vehicle suspension options for your 2017 GMC Sierra 1500. Our John style springs are going to be great for somebody who carries the same load or has the same camper or whatever it may be all the time. Now the overload pad is going to be nice for somebody who carries a load every once in a while but when they're not carrying a load they don't want to affect their ride quality because we can go right back to factory ride by disengaging our overload spring. Now the air springs are going to be nice for somebody who carries a lot of different loads, maybe pulls a lot of different trailers because we have full adjustability not only left and right but also the height and support that we get from our air springs. And finally the leaf spring helper springs are going to be nice for somebody who maybe tows a lot and maybe they have an older vehicle that has a little bit of fatigue in the springs and the back ends just naturally sagging. Well these will lift them up and also give you the support as you need. Each one of our suspension upgrades is going to essentially do the same thing, it's just a matter of how they do it. They're each going to help support the weight of a heavy load from a trailer or if your truck bed is full of weight, but I do want to mention none of them are going to increase the payload of your truck and you always want to go off the owner's manual and never exceed dead towing capacity. So now let's take a closer look at our most popular option. Here we have the Jounce style springs, now these are going to replace your factory bump stops and give you an additional support when you have a heavy load in the back of your truck or when you're towing a heavy trailer. Now one of the nicest things about these is they're going to be completely maintenance free and there's not going to be any cutting or drilling required to get them installed. Now the way these are going to work is they're going to mount in between your axle and frame and when there's no load on them there will be a small gap but as soon as we put a load on it's going to create the support we need and the more weight the more rigid our springs are going to become. What that's going to do is that's going to take the strain off the rear suspension and take the sag out from having that heavy load in the back. Now they're also going to help since they work independently from each other from side to side it's going to help with off-center loads that may be shifting and also reduce the body roll whenever going in and out of a turn or any kind of evasive maneuvers. Now these are also going to act as a shock absorber, taking most of the brunt force from going over some potholes or any speed bumps like that, and they are going to help prolong the life of your factory suspension. Now these don't have any kind of adjustments, but when our vehicle is not loaded, it should be OEM ride quality because these aren't going to engage until we have that extra weight pushing down on them. Now our next style is going to be the overload pad style, and what these are going to do is that these are going to engage our factory lower overload springs before our leaf springs start to bend. So now there's going to be a natural gap between your leaf springs and the lower overload spring that sits underneath them. Now normally what that does is, is when we add a heavy load, our leaf springs make contact with that overload spring underneath. But by the time they flex that much, we're already going to feel the bounce and jounce and jarring effect from our suspension being loaded down. What this is going to do is this is going to bolt directly to our overload springs here. And then we can actually pivot this section here by removing the pin and clip. And then we can pivot it to engage our overload springs prior to our leaf springs making contact with them. Just to give you an idea of how it works, I'll give you a little quick mock-up. The center hole here on the lower bracket is going to mount directly to our overload spring, which we should have a pad with a plastic clip going through it so we don't have to do any drilling. So if we put our lower bracket in place, it would mount right here. And then once we have the rest of it in place, it would sandwich and use the shims in order to get the right height and then we could engage our overload spring by turning this using a 3 8 ratchet or extension right here. Now our overload pads are designed to work with airbags as well and what they're going to do is they're going to take the need for putting so much air in your airbags out of the equation. Since you're going to get some support from the overload pads themselves you won't need to put in so much air in your airbags because sometimes when you have too much air in your airbags it causes too much stress to be taken off your suspension and then it doesn't work the way it was designed. Now our overload pads are adjustable and what I mean by that is, is we're going to have several different spacer washers or shims that we're going to need to find out how much we need in our application because each spring may be a little bit different. So we can adjust how much space there is 
and to take some of the tension off to engage and disengage our overload pads. The next style we have is our air helper springs, and those are going to use air to help level out our truck and take some of the strain off when we're towing a heavy load. Now these are going to install in between the axle and the frame, and they're going to help bring the back end back up and the front end back down, realigning our headlights, taking all the strain off of our factory suspension as well. The installation on our air helper springs is going to be more in depth than the jount style springs or the overload pads, but we're going to have a lot more adjustability. Each bag is going to be able to independently be operated and filled to the correct amount of pressure that you need to make sure your truck is nice and level. So if you do have an off-center load, you can fill one bag more than the other because your truck may be leaning side to side. Now they're also going to help with body roll when you're going in and out of a turn or making those evasive maneuvers. Now the thing I really like about these is the fact that you can change the pressure and you can change the height depending on the weight of your load. So if you do carry a lot of different loads, the air helper springs are going to give you the adjustability that you want. Our last option is going to be a leaf spring style helper spring and these are going to mount on top of your factory leaf springs to help give them that extra support they need. Not only are these going to give us that extra support, but they're also going to help keep our factory leaf springs from twisting and causing any damage and strain on those. At the end of the shackles here, we're going to have several different holes because it's going to have adjustments to where we can customize our settings. So if we want more support and more height added, or if we just need a little bit of support and we don't want that much height added. Now the nice thing is, is that you can use them in conjunction with your factory springs that may be a little fatigued just to get you back to where your truck used to be. Now the rollers here are going to automatically activate our leaf springs. So when our factory springs start to flex, it's going to activate our helper springs here. And when our truck's not under load, they're going to deactivate. Now the nice thing about the leaf spring style helper springs is that there's not going to be any drilling or cutting required and it's a pretty straightforward bolt on installation. Another benefit to the leaf spring style helper springs is the fact that they're going to be maintenance free. Now to sum everything up, if installation is your main concern, I would definitely go with the jount style springs because it's going to be one of the easiest installations and it's very straightforward and quick. Now if weight is your main concern, again, a lot of our jount style springs are going to have the highest weight capacity out of all of our kits here. If adjustability is your main concern, I would definitely go with the air helper springs because you have full adjustability there and as well as the leaf spring helper springs because we're going to be able to get different kinds of load support as well as ride height adjustments. Now if maintenance is a big concern of yours, I would say the jount style and the leaf spring style helper springs are going to be the best because they're not going to require any kind of maintenance, simply just install them and they're good to go. And that'll finish up the look at the best vehicle suspension upgrades for your GMC Sierra 1500. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.